Uh, but JJ, what I want you to leave you and your listeners uh, with uh, today is a story which broke our hearts. You know, we are, like I said, in the 36th day of this war, but still we're getting stories which, which literally shatter us, right? And this story, uh, we, we learned about this yesterday, and uh, this is how it goes. Now, this uh, lady who was in Mariupol, she was uh, detained by Russian animals. Animals, no, they're not soldiers, they're animals. They were raping her uh, on a number of days. This was like a mass rape. And they were raping her in front of her, the eyes of her six-year-old child, six-year-old son. When she was finally evacuated and taken to a hospital, she still managed to live for a couple of days and, and then she died. She died of the wounds that she suffered from this multiple day, uh, few days of rape. And her six-year-old son, her six-year-old son, his hair turned gray. I mean, I just want everybody to understand what we're dealing with, you know, what kind of people we're standing up against. And we are here to stop these people from going further. And this is why I believe that everyone who is not in Ukraine, every friend of Ukraine, should go to bed and wake up with the one and and the same thought. What can I do today to make my government help Ukraine? What letters do I have to send to members of parliament? What phone calls I have to make to my representatives at Congress, wherever, to make sure that they send Ukraine these weapons? Because Ukraine is fighting for all of us now. We, we, and and we, we are able to do that. We're willing to do that. We're motivated to do that. We need the support of our friends.